Okay, so after Disney publicly announced that Gina Carano would not be returning to The Mandalorian, we have several new things dropping about this. Episode 1 of Season 3 also addresses her departure directly, with Grief Karga talking to The Mandalorian about her. Referring to her as Marshal June, Grief says that she was recruited by Special Forces, and we of course know that she used to hunt Imperials due to her backstory. She carried a Rebellion face tattoo, and has likely been picked up by them and recruited to do similar jobs around the entire galaxy. Originally, Corano was supposed to be getting her own solo show, and this is likely where the character would have popped up next. Now we of course know that Gina was let go in real life, and with the creative team doing interviews, this is a topic that's popped up quite a lot. When discussing it, they said, Coro was a big part and continues as a character to be part of the world. It had to be addressed in the creative, and John Favreau took time to think about that. It was something that was discussed as we knew it was going to have impact on the show, but at the same time, what has been at the heart of the show are the two characters, Din Djarin and Grogu. So ultimately, it felt like a servicing of that and around the Mandalorians. A day Filoni later went on to say, It's a big galaxy and we have many characters in it. Many characters are fighting for their screen time. We'll just have to see as the season unfolds what the adventures are, but it's a great character, someone who is vital to Din Djarin's beginnings. We'll see if he has evolved beyond that. He then stated, now season 3 is mainly dealing with the Mandalorians and the Mandalorian saga, The Mandalorian Tale. There are different characters he's met since Bo-Katan who take a lot more prominence, which makes sense where his arc is going, the story of him and Grogu specifically. So it seems like they're basically pooching her until they decide what to do. There's of course a lot of online support for Carano, and though there's people against her too, they may decide to bring her back down the line. It remains to be seen whether she'd do it, whether they would do that too, but that's where things currently stand at the moment. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below, and make sure you check out our Mandalorian Season 3 Episode 1 breakdown on our main Heavy Spoilers YouTube channel. Without the way, thanks for clicking the video. I've been Paul, I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.